Although we tend to associate railway closures with the villain of our piece, Dr. Richard Beeching, the truth is that many railways had been deleted from our maps before the 60s even began. Indeed, the program was gathering momentum. Rural lines such as the Ellesmere to Wrexham branch seen here, which closed in September 1962, having been targeted in British Railways' desperate attempts to stem its mounting losses. Local goods traffic would survive the loss of passenger services on some routes, but without the revenue contribution of the latter, it wouldn't last much longer. Rural Wales was particularly hard hit. The Mid Wales line losing its passenger trains on the last day of 1962. The stump from Hindailo to Moat Lane carrying freight until the 2nd of October 1967. As railway traffic disappeared, so did the steam locomotive. The Churchwood moguls, for so long associated with the long cross country lines, would all be withdrawn by 1964, whilst even the numerous panniers, which could trace their origins back to the last century, would see their British Railways careers end in 1966, as the nationalised concern had decreed that steam would be eliminated by 1968. The Western region, always first, announced that they would have no further use for steam from the end of 1965. The wave of branch closures in the early 60s meant that some important towns would be devoid of railways altogether. County towns would be no exception. Cardigan, whose 27 and a half mile branch wound its way through three counties, lost its passenger trains in September 1962, freight lasting only another eight months. These classic Great Western Branch Line locomotives, the small prairies, survived for only one more year after that. The standard panniers were to be amongst the very few steam locomotives to outlast our decade, as 13 were sold to London Transport, where some continued to work on engineering trains until March 1971. But the 1600s, the last classic pannier design, had all gone by 1966. It wasn't just the closure of branches that put steam locomotives out of work. The 1400 tanks were all withdrawn by 1964, one of their last duties being the Charlford Autos, local services on the Golden Valley line through Stroud. A major beaching policy was to close intermediate stations on lines that stayed open, the Golden Valley losing stations such as Brimscombe in November 1964. Some main lines were to go altogether.